Today we're entering the World War II battlefield, but we need to forget about the tanks and firearms. Why? Well, we're discussing a man who fought the Second World War with just a sword. Meet Jack Churchill, a fighter who bucked convention by facing war's horrors with nothing but a blade in his hand. How did he capture 42 Germans without using a rifle? And how did he get captured only to escape a concentration camp a few days later? Let's dive into the insane story of Jack Churchill. Lieutenant Colonel Fighting Jack Churchill was a soldier unlike any other. Fond of playing the bagpipes before storming into the battle with his broadsword and longbow in hand. His motto was, any officer who goes into action without his sword is improperly dressed. A fact, he was referring to the basket-hilted Scottish broadsword he used in battle. And no, Mad Jack Churchill was not a Viking warrior or a medieval knight. During World War II, he was a British army officer who notably carried ancient equipment, including a longbow and a sword, at the same time the world was introduced to the terrifying might of atomic weapons. Fighting Jack Churchill also carried a piper, a skill he had previously demonstrated in a number of films. Despite his oddities, Jack Churchill proved to be a formidable fighter, eluding arrest twice, receiving notoriety for slaying enemy soldiers with a bow, and capturing 42 German men alongside a corporal, all while armed only with his sword. Fleming John Malcolm Thorpe Churchill, often known as Jack Churchill, was born in Hong Kong in 1906, where his father, Alec, was appointed Director of Public Works. Following his appointment, the family relocated to Asia, where they remained until 1917. During this period, the young Churchill experienced his first taste of adventure, frequently visiting the rural areas surrounding the city. His passion to explore did not disappear when his family returned to England. According to Historic UK, Churchill then enrolled at the Royal Military College in Sandhurst and graduated in 1926 before joining the Manchester Regiment in Burma. His stay in Burma was defined mostly by two events, extended motorcycle trips across the nation and learning to play the bagpipe. His sense of adventure proved too much for the army in 1936 and he quit, relocating to Nairobi, Kenya and working as a newspaper editor and male model. He also used his archery and bagpipe talents in two films, The Thief of Baghdad and A Yank at Oxford, before leaving the film industry. He did not, however, abandon his pastimes, eventually competing as Britain's representative in the military piping competition, finishing second, and the World Archery Championships in Oslo, Norway. Unfortunately, Churchill's adventurous spirit was put on hold in 1939, with the start of World War II. Following Germany's invasion of Poland, Churchill rejoined the British Army, this time as part of the British Expeditionary Force to France. During one of his forces' raids, he ambushed a German patrolman and shot him with a barbed arrow, making him the sole British soldier to kill an enemy with a longbow during the war. This was also the final recorded longbow kill in history, according to Weiss. Churchill volunteered for the commandos after serving in the British Expeditionary Force, a special forces division committed to raiding German-occupied areas of Europe. Churchill became famous as a commando for charging into battle, playing the bagpipes and tossing grenades. Following one of these early raids, from which Churchill escaped unharmed, a British demolition specialist unintentionally set up a charge near the bagpipe-playing, sword-wielding lieutenant, shattering the bottle of wine he was drinking and launching glass into his forehead. However, there seemed to be no stopping Mad Jack Churchill, and he was soon back in the fray. Churchill led the commandos through Europe, armed with a longbow, bagpipes and a Scottish broadsword. At one time, while moving through Sicily, he and a corporal sneaked off and crept into a German camp, capturing 42 German soldiers when he caught them off guard with his sword. Jack Churchill received the military cross and bar for his service with the division. Churchill's unit was later attacked during a commando operation. The Germans had thrown a mortar shell, killing or injuring the entire crew, but Churchill miraculously escaped death because he was away from camp, playing the bagpipes. However, he was apprehended by the Germans and deported to the Sachsenhausen detention camp. It appeared that no concentration camp was large enough to house a guy like Fighting Jack Churchill. Churchill and another army commander climbed beneath the wire fence and via an abandoned sewer to escape the camp just days after being detained. They even managed to walk almost all the way to the Baltic coast before being picked up at Rostock. Despite being recaptured, they were quickly released as a sympathetic army unit ordered the SS guards to leave. 
Following his release, Churchill trekked 93 miles to Verona, Italy to rejoin American troops. Churchill remained in the army, despite being captured twice. He was dispatched to Burma in 1944, barely months after rejoining the American military to engage in a land combat against Japan. However, by the time he arrived, the war had already ended as Nagasaki and Hiroshima had been bombed. According to fellow soldiers, Churchill was upset by the war's abrupt finish, exclaiming, if it hadn't been for those damn Yanks, we could have kept the war going another 10 years. So, to continue his adventurer slash explorer lifestyle, Churchill became a parachutist and joined the Highland Light Infantry, eventually traveling to British-occupied Palestine to train with the army against Arab forces. He supervised rescue and evacuation attempts for civilians and Jewish people who were under attack while there. After serving in the military, he relocated to Australia, where he became a teacher at the military academy there, and he began surfing. He meticulously learned many tactics and, upon his return to England, became the first person to write a tidal bore of the River Severn. But eventually, even Jack Churchill realized it was time to slow down, and he officially resigned from the army in 1959, at the age of 53. He remained, nevertheless, as strange as he has always been. He threw his briefcase out of the window every time he boarded the train from the city to his house. When asked why he would do such a thing, Churchill told the conductors that he was simply dumping his briefcase into his backyard to avoid having to carry it home from the station. Jack Churchill spent his retirement boating the Thames and playing with radio-controlled model warships, in addition to hurling his personal things from moving railway wagons. He died in 1996, at the age of 89, leaving behind a legacy as one of the most eccentric badasses of all time. Who do you think is the biggest badass from this era? Let us know in the comments and make sure you subscribe and like for more Untold History.